ఆర్టీసీపీ నేత అభిషేక్ మను సింగ్ వి మీడియా తో మాట్లాడుతున్నార్ లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం ఫైండ్ టు देयर పాలసీస్ అండ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ పాస్ట్ రికార్డ్ ను अगर मैं criticism of other political parties when made shall be confined to their policies and program past record and work criticism of other parties based on unverified allegations or distortions shall be avoided ab iska to seedha ulangan hai other parties and their workers shall not be criticized based on unverified allegations or on distortions आपने जब अनुमति नहीं ली तो साफ जाहिर है कि आपको मालूम है कि ये अनवेरीफाइड एलिगेशन है और आपको अनुमति नहीं मिलती इसलिए आपने अप्लाई भी नहीं किया इसके लिए अंतिम बिंदु है कि इससे कहीं कम चीज जो थी इससे कहीं इससे जितना गंभीर है ये उसके आसपास मिलो दूर भी नहीं आता था ऐसा जब भी किसी कांग्रेस लीडर ने कांग्रेस प्रत्याशी ने कहा तो तुरंत चुनाव आयोग उसमें प्रतिबंध लगाने के लिए नोटिस बता लिखा गया और उसके बाद प्रतिबंध लगाया गया बार बार ऐसा हुआ है प्रश्न पूछे गए हैं शोकॉस दिया गया है तो हम तुरंत मेरे कॉलीग्स बैठे हैं ऐसी याचिका चुनाव आयोग को भेज रहे हैं हम आशा और विश्वास करते हैं कि तुरंत क्योंकि चुनाव में बहुत टाइम सेंसिटिव होती है सब चीज़ें घंटों और एक या दो दिन की बात है इसलिए तुरंत एक्शन लेंगे इस प्रकार के बेहूदे आपके नियमों का उल्लंघन झूठ फरेब मिथ्या प्रचार तुरंत रुके इसकी मांग करेंगे और हम विश्वास करते हैं कि ये होगा लेकिन एक बात पक्की है इससे हार और भी निश्चित होती है और प्रमाणित होती है फ्रेंड्स आई बी वेरी ब्रीफ इट इज क्लियर दैट the four c's of telangana kcr his party his family the four c's for which they are famous cheating callousness corruption and commission it is now deflated all the four wheels of kcr's car and judgment day is catching up with his party the 4 crore people of telangana have scared this party have scared its leaders which is why they are indulging in patent falsehoods distortions of a gross kind flagrant and egregious violations of the model code of conduct one gross example of which i am about to give you kcr stands not only for kaleshwaram corruption ridden but stands for every possible scam which you can think of and here they have the gall the cheek to issue soft and other forms of advertisements like this calling it scam grass and having text which are completely unverified and distorted allegations now the various points and the facets which this issue raises are the following one this is as we all know a clear violation of the model code of conduct bang in the middle of the elections under the nose of a constitutional body called the election commission two all such ads need prior approval there are many circulars the most important is 24th august 2023 of the election commission number 3 there are several ads where the party in telangana kcr or their party has taken actually such approvals for example we have these approvals something called kcr bharosa then we have other approvals on these dates given here six seven dates are there admittedly this advertisement does not have any approval none point number 4 the model code of conduct the language is very crystal clear i'm not going to quote in detail but criticism of other political parties has to be based on past record on work unverified allegations or distortions shall be avoided now uh 
it says the same thing about other parties and their workers shall not be criticized. Clearly, this violates, which is why they know they had to seek approval, they know their approval would not be granted, so they never applied. Number five, it shows clearly a complete fear, a complete uh, chaos and running helter and skelter because certain defeat is certainly staring them in the face. It's writ large on every wall in every four direction as far as that party is concerned. Number six, separately it has several violations of the Indian Penal Code apart from the Model Code of Conduct. I'm not talking of law, the electorate will take care of it, but this must be emphasized that right in the middle of the hot period, they're doing this. So friends, I would end by saying that this is clearly a sign of absolute surrender, of absolute defeat, of absolute disheartenment, and of completely dejected and disappointed party. This is a sign that with their partnership with the BJP, they see only one nemesis, the Congress, which is coming on Judgment Day shortly to throw them out of the seat they occupy in Telangana, which has become a seat of loot. My colleagues here will give you the papers, but they will also be filing a complaint with the uh, Election Commission. Let me remind you that for much lesser far less serious allegations, far less serious, and they have handled it. Show cause notices have been issued to leaders of the Congress. Letters and documents have been issued. We hope and trust that the Election Commission will show the same even-handedness and will show the same level playing field characteristics when they take immediate, prompt and penal action against this party in Telangana which brooks not a day's delay. The matter is crystal clear. There is an advertisement before you and no approval has been taken. Thank you. Sir, do you have to give the Election Commission office? First, we will give the Yachika and we will give the Yachika. But the Yachika will give the Yachika. We will give the Yachika. After that, whatever the work will be done, will be done.